Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm Larry Baronis, the pen bug guy in Fort Worth, Texas, and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. Today, I'm going to be uh, reviewing a Wing Song 3003 Transparent Fountain Pen. I found this on eBay, and I thought it was interesting, and uh, it reminds me of the, to me now, it reminds me of the Truthby. And uh, I've got a pink one, and I've got a black one. So we'll do the pink one today. Pink day today. And they come in these little sleeves, as you see there. And uh, the label 3003, then the Chinese writing on it. So I'll go over the pen, then I'll do the dimensions of the pen and then I'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you about the ink how's that okay all right this is a really nice fountain pen I I like the way it looks I like the way it feels uh, I believe in the description it said resin but I think it's just plastic, but it's a nice pen. I like the looks. So let's go ahead and do the barrel. See if we can find out the barrel. The clip is uh, nice and springy, a little tight, but I think you shouldn't have a problem with it. Let's go up the barrel. The cap to the finial on top, and it does have its flat round, and it does have some kind of, yes it does, here we go, it has a fountain pen sitting in the middle of three circles, with the R in the circle, I guess that would be for register, the trademark here. But I don't know if you can see this. Closer, further. How about when I do this? Nope. But it's right there. So, that is interesting. I've never seen that one before. So, there's the pull-off cap. And you've got the metal silver band at the bottom of the band. And at the top of the band, you'll see that the color, the pink color there. And on the inside of the pen, what I found fascinating, it has another sleeve in there. And it looks like there's three because the way the sleeve is cut looks like. Like there's one there. Let me see I'll show you. There's one here. And it kind of stops. Then it goes up to here. It stops. And then right here it stops. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. Hopefully. And I'm thinking, again, maybe that's to help keep the uh, nib from drying out. Maybe. What are your thoughts? So, let's go down on the barrel. As you go down the barrel, nice clear demonstrator. Uh, it's not slim. It does have a little bit of girth to it. Uh, to the end of the barrel. And it's pink on the end. And how does it post? It posts real nice and secure. I like that. That is a go. And maybe, just maybe, these inner caps inside are for it to post. Because it goes right in there. So that's what it could be. So we're learning together here on this pen. And I just got this pen in today. So, let's go down the barrel. And they have another little silver clip right here at the end of the barrel. And there's no step off it. It just 
if there is, it's very minor. And here's the grip. And the grip is a, it's not a big grip, but then it's, it's okay for my fingers. If you have a bigger, chunky fingers, you might hold it here or here, but it's, there's nothing there to annoy you from writing. And uh, you can see all the working parts inside. You have a clear plastic feed, nothing big. On the nib, it does have some cool stuff going on. It's got the same design as on top of the finial on the cap. You have three round circles with a fountain pen laying longwise like that. Imagine this, three circles, one, two, and three, then the pen lays in, in the middle. And that's kind of cool. And it has wing song, EF for extra fine. And it's got some other little kind of uh, markings on the pen. And it, it looks decent. Nice little nib there. I like it where uh, they, they identify the nib. Uh, Wing Song or Jin Hao or uh, whatever the pen is. And they have the nib size on it. It just makes the pen look to me better. Gives it a better look. And it's a twist off. And it comes with a nice converter. Now these are really nice. And this one. Pulls out, but I kind of unscrew it and then pull it out. And there's a part from the grip section off the feed that points out in there. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, the hole right there on the converter, it's made to go right in it. Boom. A nice tight fit. So, I like that. And it does have a little agitator spring there. Come on down. It's right up in there. So I do like the, the converter. That's nice. So, alrighty. What do you say? Let's ink it up here in a few. I'm looking at this barrel. And it does have some, what would you call those? Um, it's got six of them. One, two, three. Um bevels yeah I'm thinking that's the closest I can get to it two looks like four but that's what it kind of reminds me of and that's kind of cool I haven't seen this too much in Chinese pens but uh, Wing Song does make a, a real nice pen I've got a few wing songs and I've been pleased with them all so far. So, let's go with the dimensions now and then we'll fill her up. The dimensions of the pen, the length of the pen capped is 5.31 inches posted. It is 5.98 inches. The barrel diameter is 0 0.45. The cap Diameter is 0 0.54. The weight of the pen is 17.6 G's. And let's go ahead and post it. And it does feel nice in the hand. The grip feels really nice. And uh, there's nothing to uh, get in your way as far as when you write your fingers and nothing sharp to... Uh, Make it uncomfortable when you write. And this looks like a pretty decent little pen. So what do you say? Let's 
get this pen inked up and see how it writes. I'm going to use, once again, some of my favorite ink by Pilot, Yamabuto. Good stuff, right? All right, here we go. And that's going to be enough ink. I try not to fill them up all the way. So that way I can use up the ink. Testing the pen out. Then I'll clean it and put it up. And I'll rotate the pen. And bring another one on board. Alright folks. Now. We shall come to the writing part. Alright here. And this is the. Wink song. Three zero zero three transparent. With the extra fine nib. And we'll do a few little squirrels. And we'll see the wetness. It is extra fine. And it's not wet at all. But then it's not dry either. It's, it's fine. I'm okay with it. Let's try some upside down writing. And you see, it doesn't do it very well. A lot of skips, stops. But, try it the regular way. Right, now we're going to do some fast writing. Here we go. There it is. Well, I do like the way it writes. I do like the way it feels. I do like the way it looks. Nice little nib. Uh, I like the color of it. Just a nice little pen. So, now, let's see if it's eyedropper friendly. So, let me bring my water so I can test it right here and y'all can see it because I'm not going to edit this it's just like you see it okay here we go I do not see any cracks in this pen whatsoever so I don't see any problems with you making an eyedropper just don't forget your silicone grease and it's full with water. No leaks. Yeah, I'll just do the cap because it's here, convenient, and why not? Might as well. No leaks. So, we're okay on that. So, but always check your pins. Make sure they don't have any cracks in them. Because the last thing you want is ink everywhere. Right? So there you have it. Wing Song. 3003 Transparent. Really a nice fountain pen. Wing Song does make some really 
good fountain pens. And if you're a newbie, you like extra fine, you'll find this nib to be a decent nib. If you're a pen enthusiast and just like to collect pens and put them in your arsenal, a worthy pen. But to each their own. One may think not, one may think yay. Uh, I think this pen was like two something. It wasn't a whole lot of money. But I'll let you know real quick. Like I said, it just came in today. Ah, this one was a dollar fifty nine. Extra fine on eBay. And so this pen, if you want to look it up on eBay, Wing Song three zero zero three. Iridium point fine nib fountain pen, extra fine, 0 0.38 millimeters, gift you, $1.59. And they got a, a few colors that you can choose from. Also, if you're interested, they have also the 3008 or some nice looking ones, but they got a whole mess of different uh, colors and styles, wings on. Well, that's going to wrap up this review. And uh, I hope you found the review helpful. And that's going to do it for today. Until my next review, be safe and don't text and drive. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Later, guys.